Hey sweeties, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. Today I filmed a purple eye look for you guys. So if you want to see how I created this, then keep on watching. I always prime my eyes and I love to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And now the first shade that I'm going in with is Fresh by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a very light shade, I'm only using this to set the primer. Now I'm using Makeup Geek Wisteria eyeshadow. A very pretty purple eyeshadow which is kind of light so I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So first I used the Fresh eyeshadow and this was only to set the primer and kind of create a base, an invisible base, because it's basically the same tone as my skin tone. Um, but it will make uh, it more easy to apply eyeshadows afterwards, because I already created a layer. I really hope this makes sense to you guys. Um, but now it's just easier for me to blend in shades in my crease. The next shade is from the Morphe Brushes 35B Eye Palette, and this is a vibrant pink shade but i feel like it also has a sort of purple undertone i'm going to blend this also in my crease i'm kind of trying to keep it a little bit lower than where i just applied the wisteria eyeshadow but if you're going right on top of it it doesn't really matter i mean i'm not a pro i always try something out and i always hope that the end result will look great now I'm using a purple shade again from the Morphe Brushes Eye Palette. This is an amazing palette by the way. Um, when I started my Instagram with creating eye looks, I got this eye palette for free. Um, it's a very cheap palette and I think if I look at the quality, I think it's just amazing because it contains a lot of matte shades which are vibrant and it's hard to find very vibrant matte shades. So I think it's a very great palette and especially if you're starting as a makeup artist, you just need this palette. Now I'm using the Carnival eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. And I'm also going to blend this in my crease, just on top of all these shades to make sure that everything is well blended out. You can also go in with the Wisteria eyeshadow again, um, but I just wanted to use a different shade just to give it a very unique undertone because when you mix a lot of different shades together it will just um, turn into a very nice purple shade if you know what I mean. Now I'm using a white shade from the same Morphe brush eye palette. I forgot to film the part where I show you the white shade but it's the white shade from the palette and I'm going to apply this at the beginning of my eyelid. Now I'm going back in with that pinky purple shade that I used before in my crease and I'm going to press this in the middle part of my eyelids. Always when I use shades in my crease I like to use them also on the eyelid. I'm not doing this always but for this look I really like to do this because um, it's just easier so the shades on my eyelid will blend into my crease. Now I'm going back in with a purple shade also by Morphe Brushes. I'm going to blend this in the outer V and also a little bit towards my eyelid to blend this into the other purple pink shade that I just applied on the eyelid. I will try to mention all the brushes that I have used in the description bar so in case you're curious what kind of brushes I used you can find them all there and I also have a Sigma discount code. Sigma brushes are my favorites as you all know. Now I'm going in with the black shade from the Morphe Brush 35B eye palette and I'm going to blend this also in my outer V but I'm keeping it very low because I don't want the main color in the outer V to be black so it's almost like I'm creating a sort of smoked out wing effect. 
Um, and because I also use sticky tape, which I completely forgot to talk about. Um, uh, but it makes it easier to blend it all in the outer V. Because you basically can't make mistakes. Now I'm removing these sticky tapes because I'm done with applying eyeshadows on the eyelids. I'm not done with applying eyeshadows yet. So this is how it looks right now. Now I'm applying the purple eyeshadow from the Morphe 35B eye palette. It's the dark purple shade that I also used in my outer V. And I'm pressing this underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm using the black shade. Just to make sure that it uh, kind of connects with the outer V black shade. And now I'm going back in with the pinky purple shade. And this is going more in the middle and also towards the inner corner. And for the third X area I'm using a Makeup Geek Pillow Talk eyeshadow shade. It also has a kind of purple metallic finish so I thought it would look really great with all the other shades. Now again I'm going back in with the pinky purple shade. I'm going to use this shade to blend all the eyeshadows out that I just applied on the Niti Lower Lash Line. And now I switched my brush into a Morphe M506 brush and I applied a little bit of that dark purple shade and the black shade from the 35B eye palette and I'm just going around the edges towards the outer V just to make sure that's even well blended out, even more blended out. <laughs> and now I'm using a eye pencil by Makeup Geek and this is in the shade Orchid. Orchid. I have no idea how to pronounce this, but it's a purple eye pencil. I felt like it didn't have a lot of color payoff, but whatever, uh, it looks great. Now I'm using the Sigma Wicca Gel Eyeliner, one of my favorite eyeliners, but if I have to compare it with the Maybelline Studio Gel Eyeliner, I feel like the Maybelline one stays uh, more creamy and the Sigma dries a bit faster. So yes, I think if you are willing to invest in a new gel eyeliner, then you should go for the Maybelline one. Now I'm using the Tarte Double Take Liner. This eyeliner has two sides, um, one side for a new waterline and one side with a liquid liner. I really like the liquid liner side. And for my lashes I used my own any chewed lashes in the style sassy and now you can see them on the eyes and this is already the end of the tutorial sorry I talked a lot um, it went really fast um, but I really hope you enjoyed watching this video I like the style of this eye look so if you want to see it in more colors let me know in the comments and don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video maybe I will do a giveaway on my Instagram so keep an eye on it and hopefully I see you in my next tutorial bye guys We are, we are dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust Search but you stay lost We are